hello everybody and welcome to the channel this video is a tutorial on how to use Creatopy in this video we're going to talk about Creatopy what it is used for how you can sign up and how you can create your own design on this platform so let's begin as you can see we are on the home page of Creatopy.com Creatopy is nothing but a platform where you can create any kind of designs and it has all kinds of editing tools inside its editor. You can create whatever you want, whether it is presentations or ads for social media or even videos. So you can see that these are all the things that you can create and more. Now, to get started with your designing journey on Creatopy, all you need to do is on the home page, go and click start free trial at the top right side over here. This will take you to the account creation page where you've got two options. First of all, which is using your Facebook account or your Google account. And then the third option is using your email to sign up. So I'm just going to use my Google profile to sign up on Creatopy. Now, once you sign up, you've got all these uh, informations about the plans. We're just going to go ahead with the free trial right now. So once you've signed up, you'll end up on this page, which is nothing but your dashboard. And you can see that these are all the things that you can create on this platform, be it a design set, a social campaign set, social posts or video stories, small square designs, whatever you want, you can create over here. And there are different types of templates also available for free as well as for pro account users. On the left side, you've got your panel over here. First thing is the dashboard, which we are on currently. And then you've got the My Design section where you can access all the designs that you've created. Then comes the Brand Kits. Brand Kits is nothing but if you own a brand or you're working for a company and using this platform to create designs for the company, you can add the company's logo and its different color schemes for different products right over here. Then comes the project section. So if you want to create a project like you want to design with people in your team or you are a client and you are hiring different freelancers, then you can ask them to join over here and create different projects with different employees. And last but not the least, you can click on create project over here on the plus button. So now let's go back to the dashboard and see how you can create a design on Creatopy. For that, you need to click on this create button on the top right side of the navigation bar. So if you click on create custom size, then you can put in the width and the height over here. Let's say I'm going to choose one which is 12 into 12 inches and that's going to be for an Instagram post. So I'm going to click on create custom size and this will take you to this page, which is nothing but the editor. It's a pretty simple interface. I'll do a quick walkthrough of what is there on this editor. So on the left side, you have this panel, which has all these options and whichever one you click over here, it will show you all the items within that side. You can collapse this by clicking this or if you want to open it, you can just select any of these items. Now let's go ahead and create our first design. I'm going to create a fashion uh, post like an advertisement for my Instagram account. So let's just go to the left panel. Now over here, you've got different options. First is templates. So if you want to create something really quick, you can use one of the templates on Creator P. So now let's first create our design. For that, I'm going to go to elements. I'm just going to go to stock photos and search for a fashion model over here because this post is related to fashion. And once you have uh, put in your keyword, you can see these are all the photos that I have gotten. I'm going to go ahead with something like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to a good location. As, and you can see that when I'm dragging it, it there are some grid lines appearing uh, to guide me where exactly I can place this image. So I'm just going to go ahead with the center alignment, but towards the right. And I'm going to leave it right over there. Now I want something like, say, for example, some lines. So for that, I'll go to elements again. So I'm going to go ahead with lines and it will open up all the different lines that are available inside the platform. So I've just selected this design and I'm going to place it at the bottom over here or let's just place it at the top. 
Now I want this element to be at the bottom as well. If you want something like that, then you can just click on copy paste on your keyboard and you'll get it added to the canvas. So I'm just going to position it at the bottom like this. Now I want to add some uh, background color for that. I'm just going to go to uh, background over here and select something that's kind of pastely. So if I go to any color over here, I just select the plus button. Like I have the option to go for a lighter color within that color itself. So I'm just going to go for something that's kind of pastely like this. So that pastel color has been added as the background. Now I'm going to change uh, the color of this one as well. You've got these options over here. The first one is color. So I'm just going to go on that button over there and you can see that the recently used colors come. So I'm going to just select that and then go for something darker so it, it matches that color and comes like within a palette. I'm just going to copy this uh, code from here and change the color of this element as well the same way. Click on the color and just paste that code and you can see the color has changed. So I want to add a text to this post. What I'm going to do is go to the text section over here and choose something that's already designed. So this looks cool. So I'm going to add it over here and you can change the text like just click on the text and write whatever you want. And if you want to edit the font or anything, go to this T and I'm going to just edit the alignment for now. You can also choose a better font. So I'm going to select that one. Now, say I want to change the color of this, like its background within the circle. So you can just select that element, go to color and you've got all these options. Currently doesn't have a color. I can add a solid color like I did before to the lines, but let's see if I can add a gradient. So first of all, I'm going to go to the color that we used and then go to gradient and let's see if we can kind of change it because this is currently too dark so I'm going to use that and you can edit the color itself if you just double click on this diamond over here you can see that you can choose the color so I'm just going to choose from our the colors that we already have used and that's how it looks like so you can choose for something that's a bit matching to your background so that's how you do it now for the image itself you can go for something like this or if you want to add it to a frame then what you will do is first of all let me just remove this image and show you how you can add it like in a frame so to add a mask to this design first of all you go to elements and go to mask and then you've got all the shapes over here i'm just going to select this square one now again i'm going to go to elements Go to stock photo and search for fashion model. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that same image. If you want to add an image to a mask, first of all, you choose an image from the left side and then you just drag it into that mask. Now you can see the face is a bit off, right? So you can just click it like that and I'm going to change that. So now you can multiply, you can add a blend mode to like make it match the theme like our pastel theme so i'm just going to go ahead with multiply over here and you can see it easily blends into the design so that's how you create a design on this platform called creatopy and then if you want to download it so i can post it to instagram you can just go to this top right corner button which says download and you can download it in all these formats but some of them are available only for pro members currently it's only available in jpeg so i'm just going to click on that and then click on download so you've got all these options you can select any one i'm going to go for medium quality and click on download and your download is, will show in progress and then it's done so this is basically how you can create any kind of design on the platform Creator P. With that, we have completed our tutorial on how to use Creator P. We truly hope this video was helpful to you. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.